thing if it had never happened. I'll tell you what. Why don't you come over in about oh, 15 minutes and we'll start all over again. <laughs> Well, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> That's obvious. Of all the disgusting, shocking demonstrations. I can explain everything, given time. To think I came back because I thought you were lonesome. I felt guilty worrying about you. How horribly humorous. Oh, but please, let me explain. It was nothing. I shouldn't believe my eyes, my ears, John. At least give me credit for more intelligence. I thought it was my imagination. Imagination. I heard all that dialogue. Why don't you come over in about 15 minutes and we'll start all over again? I never intended to go. Even my imagination doesn't go that far. My imagination does. Ellen. Let me pass. I'm leaving for good. Ellen, I won't let you. You can't stop me. I don't believe this. You're making a big thing out of nothing. Nothing? You stand here before me and dare to call it nothing? You and I have thought differently about a great many things, John, and I've tried to understand you. Well, this is something I refuse to put up with. Hello. I've been waiting for you. I thought you would be. John, I will never forgive you for this. Ellen. You call that Keish Lorraine? Are you all right? I'm not speaking to you. feeling that might be the case. Hello? John, dear, it's Ellen. Are you all right? Oh, Ellen. <laughs> uh, fine, dear, just, uh, just fine. Did you eat? I know you didn't eat. Well, I, ha I had a great lunch and uh, a light supper. You know what kind of a kitchen man I am. Tell you what, you just relax and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hmm? All right, dear. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Heaven knows I've been a good wife to you, John. You know perfectly well I've always tried to be considerate. Oh, hey, help me! Help me! Will you promise me I'll never do that again? Oh, stop! Really, John, I've seen some childish attitudes in my life, but you're white. I agree. I agree. 